Hey guys, this is Alex C with TFP TV, and for today's field strip, we're going to do a Roth Steyr M1907 pistol. These were used by the Austro Hungarian military and actually are very interesting. The cartridge they fire is 8 Steyr. These are recoil operated pistols, and really the reason I chose it's basically I'm a little self indulgent. I'm very interested in early automatic pistols, but you might understand why after I get to it here. First of all, these are considered by many to be the first modern striker-fired handgun. As you draw the bolt to the rear, and you'll see I let it forward here, you can see that the striker actually protrudes a bit, and if I just pull the trigger halfway, it kind of almost cocks a little bit. It isn't until you depress it all the way that it releases the striker and fires the gun. Some people have likened this to being maybe Glock's granddad. Um, you unload the pistol by pressing this tab here, that actually brings one of the magazine feed lips down and unloads the cartridges in the mag. So without further ado, let's get to it. Pull the cocking piece all the way to the rear, which will leave the bolt locked back. There's a small tab located on the top of the bolt just forward of the cocking piece. So press this and rotate until you've successfully unscrewed the cocking piece all the way. Then you're free to remove the firing pin spring and the firing pin itself. Well, I don't know if you call it a firing pin or a striker in this gun. Either way, it's a pin that makes the gun go boom. Then let the bolt ride forward. Make sure you set these pieces aside. Anyways, next up is the nose cone. There's a piece you push to the side. Now watch the nose cone and the barrel and the bolt because it is under spring pressure and it will jump forward and out of the gun. You don't want to damage these parts. So pull everything out of the front. And the next step is disassembling the bolt and barrel group. Set the recoil spring aside. It is kind of free floating. It's not retained on this group or assembly. Then you're going to rotate the nose cone off. The nose cone is very important to the function of this gun because it has several cam surfaces inside that help unlock the gun. Then rotate the barrel. Pull it out as well. It also has um, cams on it as well. Cam studs that ride against the cam surfaces and cam tracks. Now the reason this gun is so unique is because of the camming action. I noted the nose cone has cams in it. You'll see they're very smooth. They help guide the bolt and unlock the gun. But also the actual bolt itself has an additional set of cam tracks located inside of it. So here the gun is fully field stripped. This is what you would do to clean the gun if you were an Austro-Hungarian soldier back in the day. Um, they're ludicrously complex relative to a modern pistol, but very cool guns, guys. They made 100,000 of these. They were very popular. And thanks for watching this video. Hopefully this maybe got you a little interested, and now you're Googling other early automatic pistols, because Lord knows there's a whole lot of them. Anyways, this is Alex C. with TFP TV. Thank you very much for watching.